hey guys so welcome back so in this video will unbox a boss Hugo boss man I think this used to be boss orange for men but now it looks like they have removed uh, the orange from the this thing name now it is just boss man okay but uh, yeah so this is what it looks like the box at the top you have the boss uh, logo and at the back it says uh, made in Spain boss.com on the side there is a barcode here on the, the other side there's nothing so so it is that's how it looks so I tried this at the chemist warehouse and I liked it as in I've, I've seen a couple of times Jeremy Fragrance recommending this so I've been wanting to buy this for a long time now but uh, today I thought I would finally grab it so it's a nice box let's see what it is inside orange full of orange orange box orange this orange that no. okay the bottle is is not it's not orange it's just a transparent glass bottle it's a nice looking bottle actually it has this nice metal colored uh, cap there's this on the, on the side it says boss that's it apart from that it's pretty much transparent at the bottom you have this patch code I guess it's 0254 if anyone's interested and uh, at the top there's nothing else it's a click cap okay so let's test this I have already already have a few fragrances on my Let's see how it Let's wait for a few minutes. Meanwhile, we'll check out uh, Fragrantica where it says Vanilla. So it's like a sweet, citrusy, sweet fragrance, I guess. So, Woody Spicy Fragrance for Men it was launched in 2011. Was a red apple and coriander, and was an instance of Sichuan pepper, vanilla, and wood sea notes. I found this has something like an African bubinga wood. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so these are the notes. I like vanilla fragrances, it has this beautiful sweetness to it. And especially citrusy seed fragrances are really nice. You have the best of both worlds, the sweet world and the citrus world. Mm, this smells very familiar. Another smell. What smell is it? Oh, it's a very familiar smell, man. Not exactly, is it? I'm not able to recall what it is, but it's a very familiar scent. like bubble gum, this juicy fruit bubble gum. 
Smells, yeah, smells like juicy fruit bubblegum. I'm not sure if you guys know this. So usually in India we used to have this juicy, yeah, juicy fruit gum, right? Okay, this is actually a US thing, okay, fine, that's why I think, uh, yes. Yeah, that's what I smell. Juicy fruit or maybe boomer in India we used to have this uh, thing. Yeah, one of these it smells like Does this have Peruvian balsam or something? Because I, I remember that smells like bamboo gum. But it's, it doesn't smell bad. I'm, 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 it smells very fresh and very refreshing. But it has this, I think, minty, bubblegummy kind of a vibe. In the initial few seconds, now oh, it's gone. Now it smells like one of those blue fragrances, I guess. They are one of these Ambrox and heavy blue fragrances, that's how it smells like. Mm. Funny because on the paper it smells different completely. I, 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 I got a lot of orange on the paper. It's amazing how these fragrances smell completely different on skin. I remember uh, trying Hermes H twenty four at the at the mall. On paper, it smelled like uh, jackfruit. Uh, if if you are from a tropical place, you probably know what I'm talking about, jackfruit. So I'm not, I'm not talking about this fragrance. I'm talking about Hermes H twenty four. So this is jackfruit, and on on paper. Hermes H24 smells like this, but then I tried it on my skin, it, it started to smell like this uh, um, steam, like when you iron, like, uh, when you iron, right, like the, 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 the steam that comes out of the clothes, that's how it smells like, so I, I didn't buy it. This one, yeah, as I said, it's, I, I, it smelled like oranges and on paper, on the skin. Initially, I got a little bit of a, this thing, what was that? What was I saying? Yeah, bubble gum. Or maybe, okay, I, I think, um, Earlier I had uh, put uh, a blue dish in out here, maybe that's what's confusing me, hold on just a minute. Yeah, I do smell a little bit of that gum, bubble gum, but it's nice. It's very refreshing. It has that minty bubble gum kind of a smell. It's nice. It would be a very good uh, summer scent, I guess. So what? What? What else does it have? 
red apple, coriander, incense, Sichuan pepper, vanilla, and who knows. Maybe that Sichuan pepper, I guess, is probably giving me that Dio Savage vibes. Yeah, but after some time, within a few minutes, right? It, it starts to smell like one of those blue fragrances of this Ambroxan fragrances, the Dio Sauvage, or the Mercedes Benz Club, you know, those kind of fragrances. And I think it smells a bit like Mercedes Benz Club. Maybe, maybe that, that's what I was trying to recall. Yeah, it does smell a little bit like Mercedes Benz Club on the skin. That's funny. Mercedes. Mercedes Benz Club. I'm just trying to understand what notes are there in this. This is rhubarb, juniper berries, this rocks and woodsy notes, chewy tongue and water notes. Citrus is there. It looks, kind of, it looks a bit complex here. This Mercedes Benz. It's a nice fragrance as well. This Mercedes Benz. Okay, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. As of now, I'll wrap this up. Maybe I'll post another video with the performance and whatnot.